you guys have been on the road with two other authors. What has it been like so far? It's been really fun. I think we've gotten to know each other really well, and um, we're wicked we silly. <laughs> and we're starting to get the inside jokes. So it's just been it's been a great time. It's hilarious. Yeah. So if there's a question that comes up and we all start laughing before anyone answers, <laughs> that's what's going on. But we we have we got to know each other very well. <laughs> What inspires you guys to write the books that you guys do? <laughs> um, you know, I, I always find the inspiration question to be one of the most difficult because um, my characters inspire me, but they come out of nowhere. So the inspiration for the Night Day trilogy is Kala, and I was literally out on a walk with my dogs and just coming down a hill, and all of a sudden there was a girl in my head, and I knew she was also a soul. And I had to figure out what that meant because I was interested. I, I, I love fantasy. I knew I wanted to write fantasy, but I wasn't sure how I was going to write about a girl who was a wolf because I knew I didn't want to write a traditional world story. I, um, across the universe is basically a murder mystery in space, and I just really like killing people in space, and it gives me a great opportunity to blow stuff off and have a lot of chaos. And I like it. <laughs> <laughs> your, your answer is so much nicer than mine. You're like, oh, inspiration. I'm like, eh, blow stuff up. <laughs> I like your blow stuff up. <laughs> you blow stuff up good. That's cool. <laughs> what makes you guys, like, what... Which, sorry, <laughs> what, what point of view do you like writing in more, Amy or Elder? Oh, I, I don't know. I mean, sometimes, I think I, I identify more with Elder. Because he has this great desire to be good enough at what he does. So I'm very sympathetic to the way he is. He always tries his best, and there are times when his best is not good enough, and I'm just like, Elder. And so I really root for him. Um, but Amy's the character who I tried to, I kind of had an agenda with Amy. I want her to be incredibly smart, and I want her to make the best decision in any situation. I don't want her to just be a passive heroine who lets things happen to her. So I, I get a kick out of writing her, but I sympathize more with Elder. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And did you, at any point during your novels, did you start crying when you were writing it? I cried so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous how much I cried. I just, I. I, yeah, I, I'm one of those people who really lives in her books. So I, I, I do a lot of, you know, if someone were to observe me writing, they'd be like, it's crazy. And I, I laugh, I scream, I cry, I shiver, I bake fists. So I'm a very emotive writer. And, and with Blood Rose especially, there was a lot of crying. Yeah, I cried a little bit. Oh, thank you. you. Sad. No, it is so sad. Do you have any new projects coming up anytime soon? Oh my gosh, I do. I am um, currently in, on deadline in the middle of writing a book I'm so excited about, which is actually the second book in a two-book prequel sequence. So while the Nightshade trilogy brings that plot arc to a close, there are still more stories coming from the world. And um, Rift is the first book in that sequence that comes out in August. And they tell the tale of the beginning of the Witches' War, which is set in the Mid Middle Ages. So it's very exciting. Sounds fun. Your turn. Yes. Um, well, I'm currently working on the third book of the trilogy, Shades of Earth, and I'm not allowed to say much about the plot at all, in part because I'm not done writing it yet. <laughs> um, but I can promise that there will be kissing, I can promise that there will be killing, um, rather a lot of killing, <laughs> and explosions are kind of becoming my forte, so there'll be some of that there too. And I just wrote a scene just literally just before this in which a guy stroke is ripped off. Oh, I love that! <laughs> it was awesome! <laughs> descriptive, it was great. Um, and then after this, I'm going to work on something that um, is very near and dear to my heart, that's a fantasy. Yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> Do you like all things sci-fi and fantasy? Uh, yeah, I, I had a really long run publication. I wrote ten novels before I wrote Across the Universe, and all ten of those were fantasy. So anything, as long as, it, as long as there's a chance that you'll be killed by explosions or possibly magic, I am good with it. So. <laughs> and now I sound psychotic. <laughs> Alright, do you guys have any advice for aspiring authors coming out? Um, the most important thing is to, to keep writing and to really focus on the writing. We get um, quite a question that has been coming up a lot is how do you get published? And that's the wrong question to be asking because to get published, you need to have written the best book you possibly can. And that takes a lot of time. So don't focus on the publication side until you've really given the writing the time it needs to be. And along those 
those lines that you, you really can't expect your first book to be publishable. But not every, you, every book can be written, but not every book deserves to be published. And I, I did have a long publication journey and had to ten novels before it. And looking back now, I'm very glad that none of those ten have been published. Although at the time, I cried a lot. It was all emotional. But, but yeah, I mean, it's just keep trying. It's such a trite thing to say, but don't give up. And keep writing. Last question. If you could meet anybody in the entire world, dead or alive, who would it be and what would you say to them? Um, I think I would try to kidnap J.K. Rowling and um, pick her brain about how she made the world and, and coerce her to be my new bestie so I can visit her in her castle and have tea. <laughs> I find that question really hard because I think it's
who are kind of like just nice and like to read and like to kind of sit inside and are just really sweet. And so that's kind of what I try to write. And it's a lot of fun. For me, I, I would probably have to say Day just because he's been in my head for so long. He's like the veteran character out of all of my characters. Um, so it's almost like an old friend. Well, okay, I can't say he's like an old friend because I do horrible things to him. But um, but he's sort of like the the kid that I. It's like my kid that I abuse. <laughs> but I love him because he's he's been in my life for so long, and he's just really fun for me to write because um, I I I love the thieves with a heart of gold. The, those types of characters who are who are. They, society may think they're bad and everyone thinks they're bad, except for the reader. Like, the reader knows who they really are as a person and that they're good people. And so, for me, it's really, really fun to write. That's awesome. Um, so, again, for the characters, do you guys base them on anyone that you know? Sometimes they're like ideas. Like June um, has a lot of traits that I wish that I had in myself when I was a teenager. So she sort of came out of all of the things that I didn't see in myself. Um, so I guess it's like the opposite of what you see in the character. Excited to get to after the Legend series is done, um, and it'll 